What is happening, people? So today I'm going to do my Blu-ray, 4K, and Steelbook pickups for the month of February. We are uh, on the 2nd of March. Pretty good month for releases. Um, got some Steelbooks. Got a lot of good stuff. Um, my FYE is now closed, so I did do one last run there and got some stuff that was on my list I really don't like buying things that aren't on my list. I have like at least 40 or 50 things that's still on my list that either is hard to find or, you know, some stuff's not even on Blu-ray. It's some old stuff. All right, well, so we'll get this going. We're going to start this off. Um, I got this at Best Buy for $12.99. Reservoir Dogs on 4K. Love the slip cover. Um... These are what the discs look like in that. Now, I was planning on getting the Steelbook, but on eBay, it was like 30 to 40 I didn't really want to do that, and then Best Buy didn't have it. So I said, you know what, $12.99 for the slip, I'll, I'll do that. All right, my favorite actor, Mr. Liam Neeson, Memory. I have not watched this yet, but um, it most likely is going to be good. Um, Blacklight, we, I watched this with my mom, and, uh, pretty good. A Monster Calls, I have not seen that. Run All Night, I have not seen it. A Walk Among the Tombstones, I have not seen that either. Okay, so this one was really good, called Nonstop. Very good movie. Takes place on a on a plane. Pretty much, um, there's this guy who's texting him, telling him that he's going to end someone's existence if he does not get 150 million dollars um, every 20 minutes. So, very good movie. Um, I I really enjoyed that. Alright, probably the other one I really enjoyed, The Grey. I think this might be my favorite one I've watched. I think this is really good. and um, Very intense, suspenseful. Pretty much he is a, uh, I, you know, I really don't remember what his job was, but it, somewhere in Alaska. And he, his plane crashes... And, uh, the survivors are, you know, like, trying to survive, I guess. <laughs> the survivors are trying to survive. Anyway, these wolves, uh, like, pick them off one by one, and they gotta make their way to this tree line, and most of them die, and he's the only one left, and then the, um, I didn't really like the ending, but that's okay. Um, the A-Team. I'm on a mission to acquire every Liam Neeson movie that's ever been made. Okay, so I watched this last night. I watched Fall. I was really, really into it until the twist with the blonde chick dying. I did not like that at all. Like, I didn't like that one single bit. Like, I, I kind of... I kind of just... I had to pause it, and I'm like, well, what the hell is going on? I really did not like that ending at all. I thought it was horrible. Took me out of it. Didn't make really any sense to me. I had to go back like 10 minutes before and make sure I knew what was happening. Uh, Eight Below, Paul Walker. Good movie. Had to add it because it's Disney. Oh, yeah, this was an upgrade for me. The Jungle Book 4K. I sold the uh, Blu-ray copy I had. This was at FYE. I believe this was fourteen ninety nine, and then minus. I think I got this for like a dollar twenty five because of the ninety percent sale. So, the Jungle Book Two had to add that because it's Disney. I watched this. This was really good. Beast Idris Elba. Uh, I, did, I, I didn't go see this in the theater. I waited till it came out on Blu-ray. 
this has been out for a couple months, I think. But uh, this was like 25 brand new, so I got it for like 60%. I think I got this for like seven or eight bucks. I'm not sure. Oh, Sandra Bullock, George Clooney, Gravity. Haven't seen it. Um, Occupation. I got this at the pawn shop for like a dollar. Okay, so these are like the brand new releases I got. The Adventures of Batman. Uh, I thought I had this on DVD because there's the new Adventures of Batman and then there's this, the Adventures of Batman. I had confused the two. I thought I thought this was an upgrade, but the, the one I had was completely different. So, that's that. Uh, Legion of Superheroes on 4K. Have not seen that yet. Okay, these were two upgrades for me. Batman Hush on 4K. I got this at Best Buy for $9.99. And I also got this at Best Buy for $9.99. Batman the Killing Joke on 4K. Okay, so this was the last thing I got at FYE. The Alfred Hitchcock Masterpiece Collection. So this was all taped up, and when I removed the tape, the spine artwork ripped off, but at least not that part. So when it's on the shelf like this, you can't really tell that it's damaged. I think this has 15 movies, pretty sure. Okay, so three steelbooks I got. Number one, this was an upgrade for me because this was about right at the right price I wanted to pay. Uh, Green Lantern, Beware My Power. I got this at Best Buy for $17.99. Pretty good. Um, I wasn't going to pay $34.99, that's for sure. Uh, have not watched this yet. Okay, this was another FYE pickup. Apollo 13 Steelbook. Um, have not seen that movie. And then the last movie I got, obviously, uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Uh, it seems like Best Buy just cannot get rid of these. I went to, uh, went to Best Buy just yesterday and they had the whole rack of them. They even stacked them on top of the, the rack because they didn't have room for them. I guess nobody really likes the movie. I haven't seen it. I didn't go to the theaters. That's uh, I I uh, I didn't really feel like going when this came out, and I don't know. It seems like just the Marvel is just really dying slowly. Like I I saw a report that Cocaine Bear did better than Ant Man. I mean, what the fuck? How is that possible? Just I don't know what I don't know what it is. People are just burnt out. But, you know, we got some good movies coming out this, this, uh, in the next couple months. Um, we got the Shazam movie, which really doesn't make any sense why that's still coming out because, well, I mean, they have to release it because they invested the money, but like, as far as the continuity, we're probably not going to see Zachary Levi as Shazam anymore. And then Aquaman, we're probably not going to see Jason Momoa as Aquaman and then we got Guardians Volume 3, which is probably going to kill everybody off. It just, oh boy. Yep. Well, that is the Blu ray, 4K, and Steelbook pickups for the month of February. I don't know what's coming out this month. I'd have to look on my Best Buy app to see what's for pre order. I know um, I almost pulled the trigger on the Rocky Steelbooks, or the, at least the first couple, I guess, was at my Best Buy, but I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing that the transfer's not that good, so I, did, I didn't really go for it. So, I don't know. Maybe if someone knows if the transfer's good, you can comment and tell me if the transfer is alright. I'd probably wind up going for the the four pack for 4K because that's I think that's only like 60 bucks, and the the steel books are 30 bucks a piece, so 
Anyways, that's the Blu-ray pickups and steelbooks and 4Ks for the month of February. Peace out.